Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elma and this is Couponing with Elma. I am sitting in the parking lot at CVS. I don't think you can see it, but maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm at CVS and the plan here today is that great spend 30, get a $10 gift card. And included in that this week, because they did this last week, but included in the items you can get this week are hair care items. And we have hair care coupons from Sunday. So these are gonna be some great transactions. Um, you can do this deal one time per account. So you will see me do it three times. I have three accounts. And um, I am also gonna print coupons for my daughter's account um, because she hasn't come by CVS yet this week. And I don't know if she has any great um, CRTs that are gonna print for her. She doesn't use her account very much. However, because of the great paper coupons that we have for hair care, um, it might still be possible to do the deal on her account. So I'm not sure. For sure, I'm doing it three times. And um, yeah, so let's go in and see what I'm gonna get. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say is um, the transactions and the totals can sometimes vary, right? The reason that I'm getting possibly different items for each account is because the CRTs that we have available on each account vary. So, um, yeah, all right, so let's go in. Okay, so here is everything that I picked up and the three $10 gift cards. All right, guys, so I just left CVS. I am on my way home and um, I am so happy. Everything went exactly as planned. They were fully stocked on everything, which is, um, which makes it so easy, right? When you have a plan and everything is in stock. Um, part of that is I usually coupon late in the week at CVS and I need to stop doing that. I need to go early in the week. Um, so anyway, all of my transactions um, went smoothly and I got a $10 um, gift card on each account. So I got three of them. Um, I don't believe I spent more in extra care books than what I am getting back. And if I did, it was very minimal. So we will review each of the transactions and uh, yeah, I'm turning into the house. So I will see you just in a bit. Okay guys, so here's my first transaction. I am getting um, Garnier Fruit Teeth. I'm getting two sets of those. And then the L'Oreal L5, um, I am getting two sets of those. I am interested in trying this. This is the Garnier Color Shield. And then this is uh, L5 Color Vibrance. Um, now that I colored my hair again, hopefully I can keep it from fading so fast. Um, we are using two of these $4 off um, Garnier coupons and then four dollars off the l'oreal l5 i am using two of those now um my store usually allows these and um so we will go to the register and we will make sure um they do read one per um one identical coupon per household um it really just depends on your location and what they will permit Okay guys, I also forgot to mention that on this account, I have a $4 off when you spend 18 on hair care, and then I have a $2 off when you buy two Garnier Fruitis. So that is what I'm getting, and so I'm gonna use these as well. Okay, so here is the breakdown for this first transaction. I got four L'Oreal L5, two for eight, which was $16. Four of the Garnier Fruitis is $14. So that put me right at $30. My paper coupons were a total of $16 in savings. The CVS CRTs were an additional $6 in savings. So my out-of-pocket was $8. I paid with extra care bucks. Um, and then I received a $10 gift card back, making this a $2 money maker. Everything was free and I made $2. Okay, now let's look at the next transaction.
so for this transaction, uh, this account, I had to grab some different items because my CRTs are different. Um, anyway, so I am getting two of the Garnier Fruities and, or, okay, let's start with this. Two of the Garnier Whole Blends and I'm using a $3 off coupon for those. Um, I am getting two of the um, L'Oreal L5 and we have $4 off two. Then some Garnier Fruities and we have a $4 off two coupon. Um, then the um, $3 off uh, one of the L5 hair treatments. So um, I grabbed one of those. Um, everything I'm getting is kind of to protect uh, color. So color vibrance, um, same thing there. So. No, I'm good, thank you. And then on the Garnier um, Skin Active, those are on sale right now and we have a $2 off um, paper coupon for it. Now, what I am using in addition to that, oh, okay, and then I grabbed a, a box of um, General Mills cereal because they're on sale right now, $1.99, and they are part of this um, spend 30, get a $10 gift card deal. So I have a $1 Peely coupon for that box. So that is what I'm doing. And the reason that these items are kind of different is I was trying to use these CRTs. So I have a $3 off Garnier Skin Active that will work with that paper coupon. And then a $4 off to L'Oreal. That's a CRT, so I can use it in addition to um, the paper coupon. So there's that one. And then $4 off when you spend 18 on hair care, and I clearly did that. So we will use that one too. Okay, so here's a breakdown on this transaction. Two L'Oreal L5, two Garnier Fruities, two Garnier Whole Blends, a L'Oreal Treatment, a Garnier Skin Active, and a cleaner and a box of General Mills cereal. That total brought my subtotal to $35.97. Um, I went over the 30 because I only had $8 in extra care bucks on this account and um, I didn't want to lose any. So you don't get change back on your extra care bucks. So anyway, my paper coupons totaled $17 in savings. My CRTs totaled an additional $11 in savings. So my out of pocket due was uh, $7.97. I used the $8 extra care bucks and you know lost what three cents. So anyway, um, that was my transaction. I was able to get the $10 gift card on this account as well. And so I actually made money on this transaction because everything was free and I got $2.03 back more than what I paid. Or two dollars actually because I did lose three cents. Okay, let's look at the next transaction. Okay guys, this is my third account and what I am doing here is kind of just a duplication. I'm doing two of the L'Oreal L5. We have a coupon for it. Um, here's another set. And then on the Garnier for Tease, I am grabbing two of those, get a $4 coupon. Um, then on the Garnier for Tease, I'm doing a second set, but this time I'm doing this um, leave-in treatment that um, that me and my son use all the time so we're gonna get more of that and um, and then the only CRT that I have in this account is the four off of L'Oreal so we are doing that for one set okay and here's the breakdown on this uh, transaction it is really just a duplicate of the first transaction I did however I switched out um, the hair treatment for the Garnier Fruities instead of more shampoo um, anyway, so this did bring my total to $30 exactly. My paper coupons were $16 savings. Um, on this account, my CRTs were only $4 savings. So my out-of-pocket for this transaction was uh, $10, in, and I paid it with extra care bucks. I did receive a $10 gift card back, making my final cost zero for this transaction. So everything was free. Now, um, so that those were great transactions. Now let's look at a total 
summary. Okay guys, so here's everything I picked up. I did get the three $10 gift cards. In transaction one, I used $8 in extra care bucks. In transaction two, I used 10. And then transaction three, I used eight. So my total spent in extra care bucks on the three transactions was $26. Uh, and I got back 30 in gift cards. So I actually made $4 on this transaction and everything was free. Um, the exciting thing about the gift cards is that um, previously I had extra care bucks which, which were specific to each account. I couldn't use the extra care bucks from one account on another one. Um, now I have $30 in gift cards and those can be used on any account. So that is a great trade-off and um, everything was free and a little bit of a money maker. So that is it guys. I hope you like the new breakdown inserts that I did in this. Let me know in the comments and uh, I will see you guys next time.